everyone, Period Help Australia here, and today I am showing you my current cloth pad stash. There's not an awful lot, but there's enough for me to start off with, and I've made all of these ones myself, so I'm afraid it's not going to be all that exciting telling you the brands and stuff, because it'll just all be made by me. So, first of all, I've just got a little pile of liners. I don't wear these often, but it's nice just to have. I've got this one, which is just two layers of cotton. This one is cotton and cotton with a layer of flannel in the middle. This one is flannel on cotton. This one's just two layers of cotton. This one is also just two layers of cotton. And this one is cotton on cotton with a layer of cotton batting in it. And it's the same print on both sides, but I won't show you the other side because that's stained and I need to treat that. Okay, now I've got my pile of 8 inch pads, and these are like the curvy style which I've made, and that's my favourite style, which is why... <coughs> Sorry about my throat, guys. Which is why I've got the most of these. So this is a crushed velvet... Oh, that's a bit better. You can sort of... See... Oh yeah, you can see it in the light there. It's a black crushed velvet pad. Purple fleece backing, most of them have that fleece. And this one's cotton topped. All the rest of my pads are cotton topped. There's this one. The duck pad. I love the duck pad so much. I found that fabric and I was like, I've got to make myself a pad out of that. Then I've got this one. This purple one, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then this is the first one that I made in this style and I just decided that I had to make more. The wings are a bit too long on this one, but I can put up with that. Now I've got like my straight style, and I've only got two of these. This plain blue one, which I wore last cycle, and this new pink red wavy one. Uh, now I've got this straight style in this butterfly print, which is so pretty. Um, this is the first successful pad that I ever made. Well, I say successful, but it's sort of bummed out there. And what happened on the back was that I didn't have enough fleece to cover the entire back, so I actually made little cotton wings for it. So yeah, it's it still works though, it's, you know, a bit meh, it got ruined by my stain stick there, in case you can't see, so... Yeah, not the best pad, but I still like to keep it because, you know, it's the first one that I really made. Then here, I have... it's about a 10 inch... sorry about that. 10 inch, cotton topped, these are all regular absorbency, so they've all got four layers of flannel, if I haven't said that already. And then finally, I've got these two 10 inch pads, both of which are really, really comfy and perfect for me because I don't bleed it at the front, I only bleed towards the back, so I've got all the length at the back, just the way I need it. So yeah, that's all of my cloth pads, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, please comment, rate and subscribe, and I will see you soon, bye!